So my little wiring harness that I made just plugs into the back of the cigarette light socket there. The other end spares they plug in from the power. They're not quite pushed on far enough at the moment, but we're taking it off to fit. And then the other end is the other socket. Socket. So whatever you need to keep putting out, you want to disconnect it, just pull it off at this end. Put extra wire in it, I was going to have that under there, but I think I'm going to now push it over, over there and if for some reason I need to unplug it, I can unplug it fast, it'll still be hidden. Right, put it back together. I just neaten it up, I put some cloth tape around it. I was sticking it to the wiring harness anyway and went all the way down. I got some cheap cloth tape off eBay Wild Bike. It's not a waste, quite frankly it's not very good. I've had stickier farts. Oh well, it's done the trick. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Even though you never see it, almost looks factory. I didn't go out to talk just for if you, some reason you need to see positive or negative. So I left a bit of wire bare there, as factory seems to do as well. Right, all I got to do now, I'll put this under there, take the slack up off the wiring. Put it back together. And we should be about done. And then we set just put the position of the camera then. So if I plug it in, we have power for this one. And the other one that's down here. We have power. It's both are working just fine. Plug that. So all I've got to do: tighten the handbrake back up, four screws, fasten the centre console, put the glove box back in, run the wire under the carpet. Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt, etc. Alright, that's what you're doing. It's just going to be the other sockets. Just going to be there, plugged in. And that panel comes on. And the other way runs behind the carpet. Last thing to do. Just put this panel on. And if need be, you, can, you can't see it, but if need be, a hell of winter time. Yeah, but it's there, put this panel back on. But if I need to get to it for whatever reason, I can still reach behind it there. Right. And then just put the glove box back in and finish. Okay, I'll put back together. It's starting to go dark. It's only three o'clock, but... Winter time. I've got to take the sticky off. Oh, and the sticky on the camera as well. Yeah, there we go. I've got a working socket now. Let me turn the car on. It's working as well. I haven't put the memory card back in yet. Twist the cam on the front of the second you can it's going to settings. Just to stop it turning off so quick while well, I do some settings. Auto 
power off. Oh no. I'm not quite sure what the auto power off or LCD brightness, what the difference is. I don't know if it switches it off. I'll have to actually find out during use. Let's keep the LCD on for the moment. Yeah, so camera's roughly. It's as far right as I can point it. I'm, ro I'm rotating. Not even in shot. I'm rotating the camera actually on the unit, not the mirror itself. Just turn off after 30 seconds. Why would you want that set in there? <laughs> I don't know if it records again. I'll have to find these things out for use. Oops. It's auto power off. No, you don't want it to power off. And there we've got rid of your screen. See, that's at an angle as well. I need, I need to adjust. I'll do that now. Although the car is at an angle, I will not adjust that yet. Actually, the car's tilted at an angle. So it may be flat, the camera's up to set flat, but you can see the cars at an angle. I'll go to some level ground. You can hang it down a little bit, you've got to bend the wire from the metal. that's it for now. One thing I've noticed while I've been putting it together, the parking sensor, you must use the battery, well obviously use the battery internally every time the car takes a bump it, it powers itself up and records which is good and it's an SOS file as well which, um, sorry it's a saved file so it won't over record it. The downside is I found out when I put it together that every time I close the boot or the door it powered up and recorded. It saves a file 300 meg three minutes long. It doesn't it doesn't matter whether it's one second or three minutes. The all, all the files seem to be 300 megs so it'll usually space up quite quick if it to not record over them. I've touched it though so I will set the the record chunks if you, if you like to one minute save file size. Yeah, because it, it doesn't matter how long your clip is, they all seem to be the same size when I put them on the computer. 300 meg. Could be wrong, we'll find out who's. Yeah, and I've got it on the lowest impact sensor as well. I'd rather keep it on. Again, boot video. I wonder if that turns the... No, it's still working. I wonder if it stops it recording. Again, there's no real instructions. I'll have to experiment to see what that boot video is. Whether it stops it recording the boot or not. Definitely want it recording the rear camera as well. Why wouldn't you? Right, that's enough for today. It's getting dark. I might go for a quick drive. I might do it tomorrow. 
So I might not buy it when I figure it out. And just because people like this last little bit, I'd take the plastic off. Take the plastic off the camera. And finally. Well, it's definitely a lot clearer without the plastic on. Duh, of course it will be. Still got a blue tint there, you can see it's blue. I was a bit concerned that the mirror itself might not be very good. We'll see. As you can see, if you look on the left screen there, how much darker it is compared to the wall. It does make everything darker and blue. But as long as I can see. See the blue there, see the difference in the wall colour. But it seems to be usable. As long as I can still see perfectly clear, then it's not a problem. That's why. If I couldn't use the mirror as a mirror, then I'd have to think about not using it. But if I can still use the mirror, then yeah, it's definitely a bonus. Camera's hidden away. Almost factory, you got the wires at the top coming out there. You got a little camera hanging off the back there. And that's really all. That's everything that's visible. There's no wires visible anywhere. That's it. Socket's still usable. Always recording. Just start the car up, starts recording. I feel like it's a shame it doesn't quite overlap the mirror at this side though. I think the mirror for the course is quite fat. Yeah. Oh, that's not brilliant, isn't it? It's a liquid. I'll just show you outside as well. Can't really see much. See anyone who's following you. Anyone who's in front of you wouldn't have a clue. Which might be quite useful. So people driving crazy. The rear one, it's almost tailgating you. Depending on the view. I probably won't have a clue, would they? If it drives level down there, you won't, you won't have a clue. Right, just to show the wires. You can see, no wires visible. These wires there, that's about the only thing visible. Barely. Got a little plan now I'm going to. This is already sealed, but I'm going to make it even better. If I could put some silicon seal in it, it'd be even better, just in case there's any gap. Let's see. Ping there, that's because I shut the boat and it, it's desensitized an impact because the car's not on, so the unit wasn't on, but it's powered up on battery and that's turned itself back on. 
It wanted to record a few seconds for the impact. All I did was shut the boat, it's a bit too sensitive. But it's better than nothing. I'd, I'm going to leave it on rather than have it off. Someone knocks your car while I'm parked. It won't record the impacts, it's switched off, but it powers up within two or th three or four seconds. It's going to record him driving off if he drives off or she. And you might get the number plate, which would be handy, providing it's to the front or to the side of you. Get to the front or to the back, to the side of you, no use. That's pretty good. But yeah, it records every time I shut the boom. And as you can see, no evidence. That's the plastic that just pulled off. No wires. I think for £30, that's so far pretty great see how it performs in use